Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and today we're looking at the new video How many times am I going to say a video? We're looking at the new song from the girls of Craxy with Stupids with a Z at the end I was thinking, right at the beginning Craxy put out so much stuff there's probably a chance I might have missed a song because uh, I think the last time I saw that was during, I think it was Nugudum, which was a cool song quite a a different song from what you would expect from an idol group it went quite hard in some ways but it was a lot of fun um but yeah i don't think i've seen them since then and they're back with stupids um and i, I haven't seen anything of this pop up on my timeline so it was just from looking at the release schedule for this week so i could plan like i'm gonna do videos this week monday wednesday friday or it could be every day of the week i don't know and i saw it was out i was like oh i didn't even know they were coming back didn't even know. So let's get into this and see what stupid is all about. Excuse me. We're gonna bring some crazy vibe. Okay. Oh, we're going for the West Side hip hop vibe. Got the low riders. Oh, hello. There's only four of them now. It's like the last remnants of the 2000s vibe, this. But it's cool, though. They've got cute, cool attitude voices of Craxy. Eh? Right, they've got that cool, fierce vibe going on. Love it. Sexy as well. I dig it. It's cool. There's a lot of dancers there, aren't it? Someone's been doing some sit up some planks for sure, these girls. Nice, nice, sir. Uh, that was fun. That was fun. I've literally just done three different groups back to back. I've had Red Velvet, Chew, now Craxy. All completely different. Completely different. And this is why I love K pop. You're not just having one generic sound that everyone goes, oh, I like that, and everyone does the same thing. It's so versatile. And I I dig this this version of Craxy. This sort of it seems like they've gone in this uh, maybe more hip hop R and B vibe since Nugodum because before that they released I think it was like four or five different songs 
quite rapidly back to back. But I kind of dig this version of them because we're not getting that many, I don't want to say rap groups because they are singing. I guess maybe Bad Villain do that, BPM's new group, but I, I, I looked at them. Not had a chance. Um, but yeah, I dig this. It still it had that West Coast hip hop vibe uh, that you, you probably not many of you were around when it was a, a, there, but you probably more get that references from some of the um, GTA games that they had that. I think it might have been not this last one, but the one before that. Maybe uh, Vice City. Not Vice City. Liberty? The one set in. Uh, it was supposed to be LA. Um, but yeah, I dig it. It was cool. They all look badass. This is like the kind of evolution of like Itzy going from their self-confidence era to be going a bit more badass. Like I could see them having this kind of look, but I don't think they could pull off this sort of attitude and swag as much, but I dig it. It was cool. Completely just taken me by surprise there because I didn't know it was coming out um, and I didn't know not that I'd forgotten about them but it's one of those that if you're not keeping on top of a certain group you kind of do forget about them and get lost in the shuffle but I'm glad they're back yeah three great songs back to back to me completely different styles and sounds that's why I like K-pop so yes let me know your thoughts below if I have missed anything since Nugadoom let me know but I don't think I have but you never know with Craxy because they could have, you could be like, you've missed like 15 songs, mate, because they're just busy. We'll see. Let me know your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Catch you next video. Bye bye.